drowned. Hostile mobs introduced to Minecraft in the aquatic update of 1.13. Is there much to know about these swimming zombies? Well, let's find out. Drowned are one of few alternate zombie mobs in Minecraft belonging to the undead family, meaning they share many common undead traits such as burning in daylight. If drowned find themselves on land and catch fire at day, they will immediately seek nearby water and are actually quite good at it compared to most other mobs, and you'd hope so for an aquatic based mob. Speaking of which, to dive into more detail, drowned spawn quite frequently within bodies of water, even including within rivers, and typically prefer to stay submerged whenever possible. If a zombie finds themselves underwater for too long, they will eventually begin to shake, soon be before transforming into a drowned. If a husk is in the same situation, they will eventually turn into a zombie before turning into a drowned. Zombie pigmen and zombie villagers cannot transform. However, they also can't drown and die from being underwater. If a drowned is stranded on land, they will not transform into any zombie variants and will instead eventually despawn. Drowned have 10 hearts of health and have an armor rating of 2 points. On easy, they deal 1 heart of melee damage, 1.5 on normal and 2 hearts per hit on hard. Just like other zombie variations, drowned also have their baby versions. Approximately 15% of drowned will spawn holding a trident. Despite being on land or underwater, these buggers can repeatedly throw their weapon at you and rather accurately too, dealing four and a half hearts of damage on contact. So best have some sturdy armor to absorb some of that damage. Thrown tridents from drowned that miss entities will land on a nearby surface. These tridents cannot be looted. Killing a drowned that is holding a trident gives them an approximate 8% chance for the actual trident itself to drop as a collectible item. While on this note, if you wish to master the knowledge and secrets of the trident, I have an entire episode to bring you up to speed. The link for that is in the description. Drowned also have a low chance to spawn holding a fishing rod or a nautilus shell in their offhand, meaning they will always drop the shell if killed. Some can even spawn with both hands full. Baby Drowned are also able to spawn holding equipment. Killing Drowned will cause them to drop up to two rotten flesh and occasionally a gold ingot, as well as a small bit of experience. However, killing a Baby Drowned will offer over double the experience. Drowned actually have a higher spawn rate in rivers than any other ocean biome. During daytime, drowned tend to chill down near the ocean bed, but at night, they will commonly scout for potential victims closer to the water's surface, sometimes even briefly stepping onto dry land. However, once on land, they will soon search for a nearby body of water. Drowned will not exit bodies of water with the intention to chase players at daytime, as they know they will burn if they do so. If a drowned is set ablaze on land at night, their water locating skills become almost non-existent. Rather odd for a mob so good at finding water whilst on fire at day. Like most zombie variants, drowned will actively attack villagers, wandering traders, and iron golems. Drowned that kill villagers with a thrown trident occasionally transforms them into a zombie villager. However, they cannot break down village doors on hard difficulty. Drowned also love to bully baby turtles. And when I mean bully, Oh, and in case you were wondering, yes, drowned jockeys are a thing. Got an idea for the next episode? Do not hesitate to chuck it in the comments so I can see which mob or even item you'd want to know more about. Just in case you have the drive to absorb more knowledge, this entire series is linked for you down in the description. Before I wrap this video up, we of course cannot end it without the trivia question. Is it possible for drowned? to intentionally attack 
other drowned. 